Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius dragons. Welcome to your new moon reading for October 6th, 2021. The new moon is in Libra. Libra is about balance. The, so the symbol for Libra is the scales of justice. It's not just the moon that's going to be in Libra. It's sun, moon, I just had a moment, sorry guys, Mercury and Mars that are going to be in Libra. So it's a great time to sort of open new doors in close relationships and also to bring in new connections. Um, it's a great time to do it. Um, now, that being said, so we also have Pluto that, I don't know why I can't say Pluto today. I feel like I'm saying Pluto. Pluto is ending its retrograde on October 6th as well, which is going to help give you that fresh start energy, right? It's like just wanting to move on. Now, here's the thing is, what's going to sort of be countering that energy is the fact that we are in Mercury retrograde. Yay! Thank you. So that could be what's making my tongue go everywhere because I have three of my signs are Gemini and Gemini is ruled by Mercury. And actually my Gemini is in Mercury. So right now my communication is backwards. So love me guys, just bear with me while we fumble our way through this reading. So, um, it's, you're still going to want to move forward with things, but you're going to be um, pr a, a little bit more cautious. Just because it's like, uh. Now, also, Mercury retrograde also might bring up past things. And the thing is, with all this new energy, this is a great time to just say, you know what? Bye. I'm, I'm totally done with you now. Because now it's a new moon. I have all this fantastic new energy right? And this past toxic thing that keeps coming back, kick it, right? Get rid of it. Okay. So let's move into your reading. So you guys have meditate and contemplate and the answers you need are coming. So this is more of a, and I know a Sagittarius, you guys are like fiery, right? So I feel like you guys need to just sort of you know, calm down and communicate with the universe. And one of my favorite meditations ever is just light a candle, put on some music, uh, incense if it doesn't cause you to hack like crazy or give you like sinus issues. Um, but create your space, right? Clean the space. You don't have to smudge. Smudging is helpful, but if it bothers you, then just, just imagine yourself wiping it with your hand and clearing it. Okay, just clear the energy out of it. Sit there, meditate. I love the Eternal Om. Um, it's a 60 minute long recording of monks chanting and it is fantastic. It's actually what I listened to when I was in labor with my first or second child, I forget which. But, um, and the meditation that you do is you just simply say, what's next? What's next? That's all you do. You just say, what's next? What's next? Okay. So I feel I'm really getting a heavy sense of that's what you do. You just need to ground, right? And what's next, right? Even get some headphones, go sit. If you have a lake or a park or something, just close your eyes or just find a safe space in your, in your home, right? Even just run a tub of water, right? And just go and just communicate with the universe. Okay. What's next? Okay, so what is next for Sagittarius? What do we have to tell Sagittarius, please, for the new moon? Oh. Oh. Okay. Jeez. Okay, so. Cards are flying out. Yeah. Uh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so guys. You, um, <laughs> you have the tower, but don't, don't, uh, don't by any means think that this is, um, you've, <laughs> sorry, I just need to take a time to just like laugh this out a little bit and then I'll be able to, 
So, you got the tower. Tower's fire sign. You're a fire sign. Okay? This is sudden changes, okay? Um, this is a powerful time of breaking weak foundations, okay? Um, it's about breaking through, like you're having a big breakthrough. It could be um, like a shock, but it's also... It's also you sort of reminiscing, and I think this is the meditate on how, what did you do to contribute to it and what can you do better next time? So the tower does not destroy anything that's beautiful. I keep holding it up. I don't know why. The tower does not destroy anything that's beautiful. So you get to break down the weak barriers, the weak foundations, and rebuild with something more beautiful. Here's the thing, okay? Here's the thing. You have the Four of Wands. <laughs> this is one of the most positive cards on the deck. This is celebration, right? After that, let's just keep going. You have the King of Coins, which is an energy of trustworthy, um, being dependable. It could be a masculine energy around you coming in. This is maturity, but also stable, um, a very stable maturity, um, a refined maturity. This could be what you become by breaking down the walls, or this could be something you're drawing in and attracting. This is a very abundant energy. Um, so anything to do with business, finance, even education, but also health. So uh, you're going to be celebrating once you overcome something. I'm hearing for some of you actually, because I just mentioned health, that you are going to be overcoming something to do with health and you're going to be celebrating and then you're going to really find maybe you're going to be changing something about you that's going to be helping you your your well-being maybe you're going to start some something new and it's going to help you move on from whatever this was but you also have the nine of coins okay and again you have like two cards of the most positive cards in the deck this is about financial harvesting, okay? This is big career thing. So you've gotten rid of something and you're you're celebrating. Like you are so in such good energy. You're being prosperous and you're really moving ahead with goals, okay? And I feel like you're feeling abundant and you're feeling just fantastic. Um... Yeah, like it, it's just everything just all of a sudden just poof, it's it's amazing. <laughs> I don't know, guys, like I'm so excited for you. This is a fantastic energy. Any more cards? Whoa, you, you guys get the whole deck. <laughs> it was I actually I forgot to tell you when I was trying to get these two out. I swear it took forever for them to come out. And, um, yeah, look at this. Yeah, it took forever, and they were messy. I think I actually dropped the whole deck uh, of the Moonology one as well. So, okay, well, we have two pairs that came out. So let's see what's come out. So you have the Page of Cups in reverse, and then you have the Queen of Wands in the upright. So this is definitely your energy. The Page of Cups in reverse, um, you were dealing with somebody who was emotionally immature okay they um they were very deceitful right and they would they would uh they would play with people's emotions right and you i feel like you just went and you're just like i don't know what you did you might have not had to do anything but it doesn't matter you brought the tower to the situation and you're moving on okay so it's like you saw them for what they were maybe you approached them I don't know. I don't have um, I don't have any swords energy here, but let's see what's happening here. Yeah, still no swords energy. Yeah. So where was I going? I just had a thought. Okay. So what we have now is so yeah. So you didn't have a choice. Okay. You I think you did have a choice, but you feel it's like no, no. This is the way that it's gonna go, right? But I, I don't feel like you didn't have a choice, like. 
you were dragged there, I felt like it was a good positive experience that you didn't have a choice because you moved away from this. You have your two emotion cards are in reverse. So you had a feminine energy, doesn't have to be a female, it can be a male with a feminine energy, but it's in reverse. So this is somebody who's been um, emotionally insecure, very codependent, um, just very cold um, and dishonest. Okay, very dishonest. They might have been a superior for from you at work, um, or it could be a mother or a older sister or just a friend. Um, but it doesn't matter who it was. Um, it could also be a partner. Again, it and I say mother, it could be a father. It's just the energy of um, the feminine energy versus the masculine energy. So, and it's... Um, Yes, but you've you've gone away from it. You you've made the choices to move away. Like now I think I'm just getting cards that are just repeating the same story. So, but the answers you need are coming. Right? And I think that's this tower, right? Meditate. What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? I wonder if there's a what's next card in these. Okay. So, you have two affirmations that came out. So, one is there is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. So um, if this is a relationship or somebody that you're looking to get involved with, with this king of coins, right? Be true, right? And no matter what, always be true to you. I can't, I can't, I, I don't lie well, so I can't stand it. I'm a very bad liar. Um, so my faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. So whatever you've been going through, you're not going to let it destroy you. You're going to destroy it and build something way more beautiful. Okay, guys, that's your reading, Sagittarius. I hope you like it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you in your next reading. Thanks, guys.